Tesla is about to release a brand new Model Y standard range with a structural battery pack and 4680 cells. It's not the current model, it's a new model. Apparently it's gonna be available on Tesla's website by the end of this year. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers, great to have you guys. Welcome back everyone else. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you've had an amazing week. I have, my week's actually been amazing in good ways, bad ways, all kinds of ways. When it rains, it truly pours, doesn't it? Anyway, enough about me. My name's Sam Evans though, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. And I won't be able to buy one of these because this is basically a North America thing only. I don't know if you guys in Canada will be getting it. I know you guys in the US will be able to order this new model though. How do I know that? Well, the EPA, they've just listed a new model. In fact, there is gonna be three Model Ys. They've tested three Model Ys. And recently, in fact, within the last 24 hours, a new Model Y has appeared on their government site showing there's a brand new standard range Model Y. So it's gonna be a 4680 cell equipped battery pack in that vehicle, plus a structural battery pack, and it's a standard range. So there's gonna be a few options. At least it's gonna give you, another, you guys another option. What I believe this means is there will be a cheaper Tesla Model Y available in the US. How much cheaper? Probably not a whole lot but I think it will be cheaper. But the thing to remember though, this vehicle will certainly be one thing, lighter, and another thing, more structurally rigid. And why will it be lighter? Why will it be more structurally rigid? Well, outside of the fact that it obviously is gonna be using Tesla's Gigacast things, it'll also use Tesla's structural battery pack. That gives the car more structural rigidity, plus it reduces the weight. People think it reduces the weight by 200 pounds, possibly even more than that, possibly 300 pounds, no one knows the exact figure, but the thing is, if these 4680 energy battery cells are more energy dense, as Tesla have said they are, then it should be there should be less cells in this pack considering it's a standard range vehicle. But we don't really know what's going on here. There's two there's two schools of thought here. Are Tesla throttling the pack? Are they intentionally trying to avoid the Osborne effect? Meaning the Osborne effect, you know, meaning do we Osborne our other cars, our other models that people not want them, 2170 cell packs, so they just say, no, 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 we don't want those. We're only going to buy the new 4680 cells, so we're not gonna buy those cars. So therefore Tesla says, well, okay, we're gonna limit the range of these vehicles artificially so that we don't Osborne the other models. Could be doing that. Then again, there could be less battery cells in the pack. Then again, maybe these 4680 cells just aren't as energy dense. Don't know, there's, there's a few options here. Either way, personally, if I were gonna buy one, I would buy this model. The reason being, well, if I was in the US, this is the model that I would be buying. The reason being, I think there's probably a 50-50 chance that at some point in the future, Tesla will say, aha, guess what? We just did an over the year software update and everyone with a 4680 battery cell pack, you now have more range. Now it's possible they could do this. I mean, think about it. They have done this in the past, not in the way I've just explained, but they have done this. They did it with the, well, pretty much every Tesla vehicle that was available as of when they did this, which was about 18 months ago, Tesla released a 5% improvement in both power and range in their vehicles. And in fact, they've only just done that again recently. They've improved the efficiency of their cars again recently via an over the air update. Tesla might just do this without even saying what they're doing. Might just say, we're doing an over the air update, Depending on the model you have, your range and power might be improved. And who knows when that'll happen? It could be once 4680 cells have ramped. When are they gonna ramp? Well, Tesla is saying they're gonna increase production massively, like tenfold within the next 12 months of 4680 cells in the US. And remember, they took all the equipment from Germany that they'd sent over there. They took it all, they sent it back to the US, back to Texas, back to Cato Road potentially as well, I don't know. Because, why? Well, it makes more sense for them to ramp production of these cells in the US. Why? Because Tesla makes money. Every single battery cell that they actually put in a Tesla vehicle in the US, Tesla gets money from the government, subsidies from the IRA. The other thing it makes sense to do is not to sell these batteries in Germany, in my opinion, because why would you bother? Why not just send BYD battery packs, CATL battery packs to Germany? To me, that makes the most sense because if you're not being penalized for doing that, which you're not, because there's no battery subsidy in Germany, 
then it makes sense to do that. Just use lithium ion phosphate batteries. I mean, just use the new M3P battery in the new vehicles. It's going to probably give you pretty much the same range as Tesla's 2170 powered vehicles, maybe even more. Those new M3P batteries are really incredibly groundbreaking. The energy density is much higher. It's really a no-brainer in my opinion. Think about it. The chance of a recall selling those vehicles is much lower. Therefore, warranty costs are going to be lower or potentially lower anyway. So that's what I think is Tesla's strategy. Sell the LFP battery pack, sell the M3Ps, maybe even the Kirin battery. Kirin battery is what I call it. Obviously, you don't pronounce it that way in Chinese. But anyway, CATL's new ternary batteries, you could use those in the Model 3s and the Model Ys in Germany and, of course, in Chinese vehicles as well. And then just confine 4680 cell production to the United States. Now, what I'm kind of baffled about is the fact that Panasonic has just built or just broken ground on their new factory in the United States. And apparently... The first battery they'll be producing are 2170 cells. I find that really strange. Why would they start with those? Why not start with 4680s? Anyway, if you know the answer to that, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what your opinion is on that. Anyway, so here's exactly what we know. Tesla is preparing to offer a new Model Y trim for 2023 with a standard range all-wheel drive configuration. So it's not a rear-wheel drive. It's all-wheel drive. And 4680 batteries are going to come in this vehicle. Just to give you guys a reminder... Tesla have been selling potentially this car, standard range all-wheel drive 4680 cell vehicle to its employees. And that vehicle has about 280 miles of range. It was being sold at close to 60,000 US dollars. Will that be the price when it comes out? Depends what the market will pay. Depends how many back orders Tesla have. I mean, you can't really argue with this, right? Tesla just adjusts their prices based on supply and demand. If Tesla don't have enough orders, they'll reduce the price. I reckon the margins on this car would be very, very high at that price of 60,000 US dollars. I think they'd be making maybe even 20,000 US dollars per vehicle, massive margins on that car. They could reduce that price down to $50,000, still make around about industry average margins. In my view, are they gonna do that? Depends on how many people actually order Teslas. The thing to remember is Tesla's vehicles will benefit now from these new tax incentives, the IRA incentives coming in January next year. Plus, apparently the Senate is sitting right now to have a new bill this is bizarre, I don't understand this, but I've just read the news, a new bill for the $7,500 previous tax credit, which may be reinstituted, reinstated. I don't know how that's going to work with the IRA's bill. I don't know how they're going to meet up. No, no one seems to know, but that's a fascinating development there. When I find out what's going on, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.